uh, one critical item is omitted? What if one critical reinforcing bar is omitted? What if one piece of flashing is omitted around one corner, you know, at a, at a, at a roof connection? Uh, how can a professional engineer certify with his seal that he has reviewed not just a finite number of locations as here, but the entirety of all possible locations throughout the entire environment of a project. Well, it's, it's just not feasible. Again, there are some partial exceptions. Steel fabrication is a partial exception. Ask me about that later. But we have to be, we have to be clear about this. We have, to, we have to understand with any of the work we do, supporting tools for modeling, um, we have to understand that what we're creating is um, environments. We're, we're creating the totality of a spatial environment. It's full, absolutely full of information. It's full of, but, but, but critically, what we have to be clear about is that it's full of equal parts information and uncertainty. Drawings offer complete certainty about one thing. They give complete certainty about the locations at which an author claims responsibility and makes a directive authored visual statement. So they're clear about, they're perfectly clear about their finite limits. Their downfall, their, the, the, the downside, the, the, the negative of, of a set of drawings is that uh, the media, the medium of drawing itself um, is widely understood to be very difficult to understand and it's often misinterpreted and this is directly a cause of its abstraction. Drawings are very abstract. They're not in their, in, they're not present in the context of the environment uh, that gives them um, a meaning that makes them you know that makes makes each of these uh, e easier to understand um, but it's not enough it's not enough to say that these are clear about authorship uh, while they remain abstract and difficult for people who have to read them to interpret them that's you know we we cannot be satisfied w with that anymore uh, Technology. I mean, we're, t we're a technology company. Uh, technology is advancing uh, so rapidly that it's no longer uh, we can no longer consider it acceptable to be satisfied, or that the industry is satisfied with uh, the clarity of authorship at the expense of uh, clarity of understanding. And the solution is not uh, is not here. It's it's not in these models either, because here we have the opposite problem. We have uh, the clarity of a rich contextual environment, but we have, but we have uh, uh, almost total uncertainty. Um, I mean, we're surround, we're immersed in an environment here that is, that is composed of uh, apparently equal parts information and doubt, and being immersed in an environment that is uh, chock full of information but equally full of doubt and uncertainty, simply leaves us in a state of confusion. Uh, in which we cannot uh, effectively move forward. Uh, we want to move forward in a specific way. The goal of any drawing effort and any, any modeling effort is always the same. It's to understand what we're doing, to see, to see what we're doing, and to communicate what we're doing in ways, you know, visually, to communicate visually in ways that people can understand. This is the goal. So we can talk about all the usual things. We can talk about uh, using models to automate drawings, you know, in the BIM process. It, we automate drawings for models. Well, it's not enough because the end result is the same as it was before we began the automation. We have models and we have drawings and neither one of them is enough.
in regard to getting the job done, the job being effective communication, right? We can talk about um, uh, asset information management. We can talk about databases full of entity properties um, associated with elements in a model. This is a form, right? This is this is a way of saying that we we enrich our models. We make the we make we put you know our models become containers for more and more information, and this is necessary. I mean, we we have to do that. This I mean, this is uh, undeniably um, important. Models must be uh, enriched with valuable uh, and relevant information, uh, and all of that has to be managed. Uh, certainly, there's no doubt about it, and there's no criticism of it, other than the general criticism. Uh, what that does is produces and develops an environment. And this is the here. I, I'm done now. I'm done. This is the distinct. This is the distinction I'm, I try. I set out to make. I wanted to make the, a distinction between what are drawings and what are models. So models, quite simply, are environments. They are environments that are full of information, but equally full of uncertainty, uh, specifically with regard to the locations at which they're reliable and at which uh, authorized authors have made directive visual statements, directive instructive statements, and statements for which they are accountable professionally. Okay. Environments like models provide no clarity about that and it's a very significant weakness. And drawings on the other hand provide complete clarity about authorship and location specific accountability. But their weakness and downfall is that they're uh, so often misinterpreted that they're known to be a constant among users who tell us this in various ways all the time. That drawings, even when they're high quality, uh, are a constant source of misunderstanding, uh, misinterpretation, delay, error, and waste. Well, the industry can no longer stand still with these two uh, factums, you know, that where drawings are not getting the job done and models are not helping. We, we have to move beyond that, and we can.